Ladies and gentlemen, maayong adlaw sa tanan in Cebuano. Magandang araw sa lahat in Filipino. Good day to all in English. Most especially to my fellow research enthusiasts, panel of reactors who are in today, to the organizers and to those behind this endeavor. It is my honor to be one of the presenters in this research history amidst pandemic powered and enabled Asia Pacific Society of Volunteers Incorporated in the flagship of Integrated Council of Administrators, Researchers and Educators of Asia Pacific Conference on Research and Education 2021 or the ACRE 2021. Indeed, a very timely event to share what I got as part of the educative procedures during this challenging time. A privilege to contribute to the discipline I devotedly work with. Across the globe, I am now speaking before you guys. Yeah, goosebumps. <laughs> I just can't contain my joy with you all, my fellow. Though evidently unusual setup, still I am so willing to conduct and share to you at this very moment. This study. To officially commence, I happened to complete a comparative study on academic achievement of senior high school learners in mathematics before and during pandemic. This is somehow be serving as an action research along the sides on struggles with this challenging scholastic quote unquote era. I am Jovan Q. Trozo, 33, and I am from Lanao del Norte, Tag as the land of beauty and bounty, Region 10. Specifically, I am serving quite a good number of years as a senior high school teacher in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, handling basic calculus, pre calculus, general mathematics, statistics, and probability, and some time in practical research at Maigo National High School, Senior High School Department. I am the senior high school department coordinator at the same time, the career guidance coordinator of the aforementioned department. Primarily, these three elements in the nation have come to take part in meeting the desired goal of quality education even harder at the new normal, gearing side by side, equipping one another upholding each one of them to reach the common goal. The Department of Education or the DepEd K-12 Basic Education Program, more popularly known as K-12, sprouted through the leadership of the former president of the Philippine Republic, Benigno Simeon Aquino III, who signed the Republic Act Number 10533, also known as the Enhanced Basic Education Act into law on May 15, 2013 that prescribes senior high school as part of the compulsory basic education which was fully implemented in school year 2016-2017. One should complete such curriculum otherwise one will just a grade 10 or junior high school completer only and receive a completion certificate. This critically showcased the importance of being equipped in grade 10 to keep ready in preparation to the first year in the senior high school level, which is the grade 11. General mathematics is one of the core subjects in senior high school that is somehow a deepening strategy in basic education curriculum, a continuation of lessons from grade 10. These factors are banking to the fact that education is a fundamental human right a global common good and a primary driver of progress across all the 17 Sustainable Development Goals or the SDG of the 2030 Agenda as a bedrock of just, equal, inclusive, peaceful societies and all. The Charles Darwin Societal Theory observes that provisions of formal equity of access to education by putting Everybody on the same level from the scratch guarantees that the ensuing run is a just one. The theory asserts that the criteria of the scholastic promotion should be ability and will. And 
as things went smoothly, opportunities came in graciously. In March 2020, the World Health Organization or the WHO declared SARS-CoV-2 or the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak as a worldwide pandemic. The classical educational process has been severely disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic and the administrative measures taken at the national, regional and local levels to prevent the spread of the coronavirus infection. Research in mathematics achievement during COVID-19 can provide windows into why mathematics learning seems to be taking bigger hit during pandemic. Three studies based on Northwest Education Association or the W and WEA data predicted students could learn half or up to a full year less mathematics in 2020 to 2021 compared to what they could learn in a typical year. In Asia, by the way, mathematics is viewed as one of the most critical subjects wherein students are encouraged to study and di the discipline. Most Asian countries guiding practices on children's mathematics achievements are quite more vigorous. The transition of learning mathematics has become intensive, though it is complacent to a spiral approach in the K-12 curriculum. It requires useful and applicable fundamentals, which are equally important to surmount parallel problem set reflected in year levels, specifically in grades 10 and 11, which are the focus of the study. I'd like now to share the thesis and the research gap. The new normal learning landscape intensifies such conditions and have become the phrase of the town in the world of academe nowadays, which a number of doubts, hesitations, and uncertainties rolled into formidable challenges to surmount changes concurrently. This study presents a response to figure out the extent of comparison on mathematics academic achievement of learners in Maigo National High School at the fifth year implementation of the senior high school amid this one of the most demanding situations that is before and during pandemic in all human aspects across the globe. The objectives, by the way, are aim to, to evaluate the extent of comparison and relationship on mathematics academic achievement of senior high school learners in Maigo National High School before and during pandemic. It particularly seeks basis for the following statements. The mathematics academic achievement of senior high school learners in grade 10 and 11 in the last and the first two quarters in grade 10 and grade 11, two academic years respectively. And the second one is we have the significant relationship between the grade 10 and grade 11 mathematics academic achievement with the quarterly marks and general averages of the academic year. All right. This time we have the methodology. The first one is frequency and percentage. Well, these were used to tally and present the collected data in finding the relative distribution as to categories. The second one, we have the scaled average. This was used to indicate the weighted raw achievement of the learners respondents. The third one we have Pearson product moment correlation of Pearson product moment coefficient of correlation. This was used to present the comparability of the collected data pertaining to the association of the achievement 
obtained by the respondents before and during pandemic with a logical interpretation. The fourth one we have frequent uh, the T distribution. And this was used to test the statistical significance of the relationship of the calculated data with the interpretation listed below above. Both the circulated advisories of the region and division offices. Say regional advisory number 41 series of 2021 dated April 30, 2021 and division advisory number 23 series of 2021 dated May 11, 2021. Both were in compliance with the Dep Ed order number 8 series of 2013. The issuance of these advisories were for the information of the department officials, personnel, staff and concerned public. The approbation of the supervising individuals and the immediate head were observed, hence was recognized. The learners respondents quarterly marks and general averages in mathematics before and during pandemic were the main raw data considered. There were records for each included grading or quarter. And in grade 10, the last two quarters, the averages of these quarters, considering that there are four quarters of the academic year 2019-2020 were in focus. That is the third and fourth quarters and their averages. Also, the first two quarters and the, of the semester and the semester average for grade 11 were emphasized. That is the first and second quarters and the midterm final grades. Consequently, a sample of 93 respondents were drawn from the strands and tracks who were enrolled before and during pandemic times. Academic years 2019 to 2020 and 2020 to 2021. Accordingly, in Maigo National High School, the Senior High School Department, Division of Planao del Norte, Region 10, Philippines. The access of the data was done through two role documentary analysis in the permission given by the Office of the Principal, wherein arrays of learners academic reports were deposited and treated. Such data undergone the method of descriptive correlation to figure out the significance of the relationship of variables, particularly in determining the extent of comparability on the academic achievements of the noted identified respondents. Clustering, clustering or the clustered sample Clustered sampling technique was adapted through the last and first two quarters in grade 10 and grade 11 correspondingly. Documentary analysis is a type of qualitative research in which documents are reviewed by the analyst to assess an appraisal theme. And let's proceed to the academic achievements of senior high school learners for the quarterly academic achievement in grade 10 and grade 11 mathematics, which will be uh, presented on table one. So we have, you can see there the grading scale of 80 to 84 was where the majority of the learners per quarter settled. They had satisfactory descriptively rated in both academic years. Such observations were ranging 30s to 40s at roughly 50%. To indicate a few, the tallies were 33 or 35.48% and 32 or 34.41% in the first grading period. Among the entries in grade 11 mathematics, achievements 47 or 50.54% was greatest figure. The same descriptor satisfactory that occurred in the second quarter. 
in some point, in just a reminder, learners interestingly showed better marks in grade 10 with 27 observations at 29.03%. Among the entries in grade 11 mathematics achievements, 50 or 50.5400 percent was the greatest figure at the same descriptor satisfactory that occurred in a second quarter. In some point in just a remainder, learners interestingly showed better marks in grade 10 with 27 observations at 29.300 percent first quarter average grades noticeably referring to the grading scale of 75 to 79 as fairly satisfactory from 32 or 34.41 percent in grade 11 first quarter that is by some means close to the grade 10 second quarter 37 or 39.78 percent the learners manifested better effort keeping the tally lower to 15 at 16.13 percent, making such to 22 at 23.66 percent in the average rating during pandemic. Thus, no below 75 tallies compared to the previous year. This table one somehow supports that study habits and study attitudes are both significant variables which determine the academic performance of the students. Students' access in mathematics is affected by variables like intelligence, cognitive entry skills, quality of instruction, and affective characteristics. When students develop and utilize good study habits, they tend to perform better compared to students who study without them or with bad study habits. And for the significant extent of comparability between the grade 10 and grade 11 mathematics academic achievement, which will be presented in table two, we have these figures saying that the table showcases the upshots on the significant relationship between the grade 10 and grade 11 academic achievement banking on the two quarterly marks and average in mathematics, technically the last and the first two quarters in the aforementioned year levels, academic years 2019 to 2020 and 2020 to 2021. Pointedly, in reference to table with a statistical test outcome, the academic achievements in all grade 10 and grade 11 quarters that correspond to the subject of the study landed to 0 0.5500, 0 0.49 hundreds, and 0 0.55 hundreds correlation coefficient, which the said quarters present moderate relationship. Further, the T values of 6.23 hundreds in third and fourth quarters and an average ratings and 5.30 hundreds in fourth and second quarters are evidently noteworthy compared to the critical value of two bearing the five percent level of significance with a degree of freedom of 91. In addition for table two the academic achievements of the senior high school learners do manifest relative association despite the current new normal learning landscape. This is even a good implication amid the educational conditions at present, parallel to DepEd's key statistics on performances and internal efficiency of the basic education sector, as to reports that the overall performance of representative participants in the Program for International Student Assessment or the PISA 2018 significantly fell behind from its neighboring ASEAN countries, particularly in mathematical literacy. It also the same trend for the country that Philippines scored in the overall performance that is significantly below the international average in the 1999 and 2003 trends in international mathematics and science study. That is the TIMSS. And with those results, I'd like to share the conclusions to you. 
my first conclusion is in both your levels, the academic achievements in mathematics of the grade 10 who turned grade 11 learners before and during pandemic are largely satisfactory, which technically means that the learners did achieve average, thus settling at the middle spot rating indicator. My second conclusion is statistically, such academic achievements are correlated as moderate relationship that exhibits significant results despite the limitations, challenges, and modifications in a new normal learning landscape. Both actors of the dual learning processes who are the teachers and the learners upheld and kept a breeze to what are required of being one in the call of quality education sector at present. These conclusions may somehow present that in most cases, the results of research on specific reaching practices show only small or moderate gains. In education, we need to understand carefully select and use combinations of teaching practices that together increase the probability of helping students learn, knowing that this Practices may not work in all classrooms at all times. And also the strongest possibility of improving student learning emerges where schools implement multiple changes in the teaching and learning activities affecting the daily life of students. And let's have now my recommendations. The first one is the depth ed support programs in addressing the immediate educative needs amid pandemic should even be more intensified and further monitored to reach higher elevations in academic achievements through all the areas of specializations, specifically in mathematics. Secondly, since health conditions nowadays are still beyond certainties, thus affecting global academic pursuits. There should be special working platforms for teachers and learners to efficiently and effectively deal and sustain another scholastic cycle amid pandemic time, like psychosocial activities, technological advancements management, professional and personal sp space, and many more in as much as applicable. These somehow endow commendations to, for teachers and learners as well in expanding extra effort in assurance of serving reasonable contextualized education in, ma in such present challenging educative arena. Revisits and reviews on the prescribed learning competencies should be undertaken to promote and implement more critical yet relevant lesson delivery, most especially with a number of challenges in both actors of the dual learning processes as the procedures, accessibility and regularity are concerned. Remediation and enrichment interventions should also take into priority to uphold the necessities either before the identified deficiency or for the known sufficiency concerning to the learner's aptitude and attitude towards holistic development. The next one, the next recommendation is the participation of the community, that is the local government unit and the family at large. That should be heightened correspondingly to suffice the physical and emotional stability of the learners in one way or the other that help as well in facilitating learning with the teachers. And please allow me to give as well you the views of some authors for these recommendations I've got in the study. For number one, that is the more you accomplish, the more motivated you feel. Secondly, some authors said that as it is likely that some form of distance learning will continue, 
Educators need resources and strategies to help students stay motivated and engaged while they are learning remotely, as well as guidance to provide students with hands-on learning opportunities and to assess and support students' social and emotional learning. As Dennis Parks writes in his chapter on staff development in the Handbook of Research on Improving Student Achievement, schools and school districts have a responsibility to establish a culture in which teachers can exercise their professional competence, explore promising practices, and share information among themselves while keeping the focus on the ultimate goal of staff development, the improvement of student learning. For the third recommendation, uh, some authors also said that in the Philippine setting, educational modules contain a specific topic of instructional plan standards to empower and create consistent and numerical abilities expected to get in the fundamental mathematical concepts. When we think of students' engagement and learning activities, it is often convenient to, to understand engagement with an actively as being represented by good behavior, positive feelings, and above all, student thinking. This is because students may be behaviorally and or emotionally invested in a given activity without actually exerting the necessary mental effort to understand and master the knowledge, craft, or skill that the activity promotes. And for the fourth recommendation, uh, some authors also said that according to specialists, learners are not necessarily dependent on their will to develop interest or be interested. They may be dependent largely on supports to find ways to connect with the content that they are to learn and while they need to make their connect own connections and they are also likely to need support to perceive them. Lastly, some authors support recommendation five that whatsoever affect the development of children would possibly affect their education or disposition to it. Parental involvement has been shown to positively correlate with children's academic achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, aside from my personal views, Technically, in the introduction parts and in the tabular presentations and descriptions, my intertext persuasions and discourses in my study presentations are intelligently taken and excerpted from these researchers and authors. Compliments to these people. Thank you, and I am Giovanni Q. Trozo. Thank you for the opportunities to present to you my study.